Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are at this Ford dealership in Zagreb, Croatia. Their link will be in the description and today I'm gonna show you all the details of this car. So the new Ford Puma. I have the key here and when I say Puma a lot of you will probably think about the sports coupe that Ford uh, designed in the 90s but now they decided to give the Puma name to this car which means they expect a lot from it. So what it is, it's actually a crossover that sits between the EcoSport and the Kuga. It's smaller than Kuga, but bigger than the EcoSport. Let's kick things off with the exterior design and I think it looks amazing. I spoke to the designer team in Germany uh, when I was at the world premiere of this car and they told me that they wanted the athletic looks of the car. They wanted uh, this optimistic face and I think they did a good job. Uh, really, the car looks that way for me. Now on the front you have a very nice front LED lights. They do come as standard in LED technology and then optional you can get the full LEDs with the high beams also in LED technology. So these are the daytime running LEDs and then just a second when I open the car you see that these are the blinkers. Very very nice detail indeed. I actually spoke to the designer and he told me that he was inspired by the Ford GT because he was also in the development team of the GT and they really do remind me of the ones on the Ford GT. Look from this angle uh, when you see the daytime running gill, it is really really nice. Another thing that we are noticing is the huge front grille. So look at this, almost connecting the lights there. It's in gloss black because this particular model has the ST line trim which makes it look very sporty indeed look at the bumper the shapes of this air inlets and everything really really nice also gloss black details all over the place uh, really makes it more sporty where if you go for the for example titanium trim then you get this in the uh, you know chrome but I prefer this one I don't know tell me in the comments what do you think about this and would you take this like a sporty design in the ST line or would you go for the titanium which has a more like classy look. Another thing that I need to mention is that the wheel arches in the ST line are in the same color as the body but if you go for other trims then they can be plastic that makes it more robust so tell me uh, what would you like more. This car has 4 meters and 20 centimeters which means it is smaller than Kuga, bigger than EcoSport. It's really interesting design. As you can see the ST line badge is here. Uh, you also have the dual tone nice blue color. Uh, goes great with the black roof. But now let us move on to the back of the car which is very very nice as well. Look at the lights. LED lights in you know unusual shape. Look at this. Here you can see the way that they are made and uh, they have this gray parts here a lot of gray parts actually and I personally think it looks cool tell me in the comments what do you think about it and uh, do you like the design overall once again ST line means you get this and actually satin black and you also have the lettering strong lettering and the badge so very very cool detail indeed and now let's see the rear bumper as you can see it has a very strong design but it's nice to see the real exhaust pipe in here something that we are not used to seeing on modern day cars this one is also ecoboost hybrid but i'll talk about that a bit later now i'm gonna open the trunk but before i do that let me tell you something that uh, i noticed and i learned with the designer team that was developing the puma so i spoke to them and they told me they did a big survey among the customers who buy crossovers and uh, of course first thing they want is the good looks I mean people usually buy crossovers because they like the sitting position and the good looks but if you are not if you don't have a practical car then you are as a manufacturer losing a lot of potential customers because people want practicality in these cars so that's what they found out and this is why this car is very practical indeed look at this look at the trunk space this is really insane so this car has 456 liters of trunk space that's a class leading trunk space and if we open this look at this you can open this like this and then you have this extra storage space around 80 liters that's really insane now also look at this you can remove this and then this then here we have okay I think I managed to do it. Look, 
there you can see the floor now so if you have something wet you can put it here uh, or water it will just go away this is closed now as you can see maximum load is 50 kilograms so you can really put a lot of things and a lot of objects very tall ones here without any problems because uh, you really have a big uh, you know space here then you can also have this like a dual floor here or down you can put it like this as you can see just a second there you have it so now it's down but uh, basically really really practical car and tell me in the comments what you think about it also watch my video of the practicality tour of this car somewhere it will be here and also look at this this is integrated so you have more loading uh, space here so really really they did a good job with this and uh, yeah there will be no problems in fitting the things the exterior design tell me in the comments what do you think about it i really love it uh I see the fuel cap you put the petrol inside but we'll come to the engines uh, in a moment but now let's take a closer look at the interior of this car this is the st line also in the interior which means you have great elements here great materials look at this leather uh, with the red stitching looks very nice then you have this chrome door handle the buttons for the lock and unlock and then for the windows uh, huge door pockets look at this so really really a lot to fit in here you are greeted with the st line badge when you enter the car you have a nice carpet with red elements then you have the leather seats with the red stitching also looks very very nice indeed in front of the driver there's a sports steering wheel with a flat bottom feels very good in the hand and you have the also red stitching but without further ado let's jump inside this is the interior of the new puma and i will now turn on the start engine button here so that we get the power inside i will also close the window so that we have piece here as you can see i have a 12.3 inch digital cockpit in front of me uh, that's the optional thing which comes uh, in the sd line package so i would recommend you to go for this because it really really looks cool you have different views that are available in front of the driver and uh, you can change them in here uh, you can also have the navigation here you can also have the for example calm screen uh, that changes the layout a bit but the layouts also change when you press these driving modes that are here so look at this well this is the normal driving mode that you saw but then we can go and let me just a second let me turn off the calm screen so you can have the regular screen okay so this is the regular screen and then if i go to the eco mode then you have this cool graphic and then you go to the eco mode as you can see the layout is changed then we move on to the sport mode sport mode is of course red and uh, it's more aggressive uh, and uh, also i love this rpm digital cluster and moving on to the slippery mode so really a lot of modes here uh, i love these animations that appear before the screens uh, come up really really cool then moving on from the slippery to trail mode trail mode also has nice illumination let's see what else do we have we also have the normal now we are back in business back in the first one that i showed you now this is the digital cockpit very nice element then you have this sort of like a fake carbon tell me what do you think about those elements now the lights for switches are here on this classic button really easy to use then moving on here you have this floating screen this reminds me of the ford focus really easy to use and uh, looks cool not the best solution i would say but decent now unfortunately the vehicle is in transport mode because it just got delivered here at the dealership so i can't do much here but basically you have the main screen you have the shortcuts for the audio for the phone for the navigation for your mobile apps because you can pair your phone with the car with the uh, of course apple carplay and android auto but you can also have the ford connect app and then you can see some of the things about the car that uh, you know you need and uh, you can 
adjust some I don't know settings or navigation or things like that on your car so that's really cool then you have still some physical buttons quite a lot of them actually here is the button for the volume here is where you change your tracks uh, different menus will appear when you press this now the AC controls are still on the these switches which is cool look at this a blower speed really easy to use then you have the temperature also the screen is uh, you know doing its thing and showing you the temperature and then here you control where you want the air to blow maximum blow ac maximum ac i also have this in my car okay it's really working well uh let's turn off the blower to one yeah so what else do we have we have the gear lever a uh, very nice one actually as this is the st line trim with this also red stitching and then here this car also has the heated seats uh, option and the heated steering wheel but you need the car to be turned on for that functions here is where you have the wireless charger for your phone you can also put it here it's really easy and doesn't go anywhere when you drive that's cool you have the 12 volt power outlet in here and you also have the usb port here this is the chrome line around the gear lever and here is the button for the driving modes then you have the traction control off uh, this is i believe uh, the button for uh, the uh, automatic parking as you can see select side use the indicator and then the car can even park itself uh, you have different styles of uh, the places uh, that the car can enter and then basically the sensors measure the uh, length and everything and tell you whether you will fit or not really really a cool detail in here also a lot of technology in this one uh, start stop off button that's something that i would definitely use all the time and then the sensor um, sound off also you can press that you have the two adjustable cup holders in here you have the classic parking brake really cool to see this on the car not uh, every day you see uh, something like that then here you have the leather handrest uh, not that huge amount of space here actually there is so actually there is a lot of space in here this is the usb port once again inside so and this is just a small plastic part here really really not bad and uh, yeah well that's pretty much it and what else can i show you i can show you the glove box it's plastic but it's uh it's got a lot of space look at this and then also here you have some more space I love these red elements i don't know if you can see them here also they go nice with the stitching and overall yeah really decent looking car here let's see these lights cool feature also and then here is where you have the classic lights unfortunately yellow ones i would love to see leds here but hey but that's maybe a bit too much uh, but yeah, uh, let's go back. I don't know if we can even go back to the main menu here because of the whole transport mode. Okay, so this is the main menu that you have here. So overall, really decent. Tell me in the comments what do you think about it. And I will now adjust the seat for myself. And then we will go at the back and I will show you how much space I have at the back but before we go at the back one more thing that i need to mention is this optional bang and olufsen sound system with eight speakers uh, looks very nice so you have this cool speaker here on the dashboard and then you have also the other speakers all around the car uh, if you are interested you know in good music then you should definitely choose also that option so look you also have them in here so cool and now let's check out the back seat okay guys let's check out the space at the back now as you can see materials here are not as good as uh, on the front but still you have some nice leather in here and on this car pocket uh, it's smaller basically than the front one of course but you can still fit a bottle in here let's see the seats so the seats have this red stitching also looking nice and let's see how much space i will have in here so look for my legs well i do have some space and uh, for my head it's also not that bad 
So you could manage uh, smaller road trips here without problems. I'm 1 meter 87, so have that in mind. And I adjusted the seat for myself, but I love to sit uh, very close to the steering wheel. So uh, you should definitely check that out, you know, uh, for yourself to be sure. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling comfortable here. We saw the exterior and interior details and now it's time for the engines which are available for this car. So let's take a closer look. So this is the 1 liter EcoBoost with 125 horsepower but it's a mild hybrid version. So let's open this. Alright, so what do we have here? We actually have three engines available right now. This is one of them. This is the mild hybrid one, 1 liter EcoBoost petrol, 125 horsepower. That's the middle one. You also have another mild hybrid with 155 horsepower, basically the same engine, but with a stronger, uh, you know, amount of power. And you also have the base trim. The base one has a one liter EcoBoost, just the petrol engine without the 48 volt electric system. And that one has also 125 horsepower. And what this uh, 48 volt uh, system does, it actually makes the car more efficient and uh, more eco-friendly. And that also means the uh, lower taxation because of lower CO2 emissions, which is important, especially if you live in a country like Croatia, where the tax on the CO2 is crazy, so yeah. All right, now it's time to check out the specs of the car. So this one is the ST Line X. It's upgraded ST Line. So this is the top trim model with one liter EcoBoost, 125 horsepower, power, mild hybrid version. Uh, you also have the Desert Island blue color, a very very lovely color, I must say. And this car is fully packed. This is the price for the base trim. So the base for the Puma is this much. Um, I will put the price in euros somewhere here. And then this one uh, is fully packed. This is the price for the fully packed car. Uh, I will also put euros somewhere here, but have in mind that this is with the 19 inch wheels, the digital cockpit, the ST Line X. Uh, every, every option available is on this car. So tell me in the comments, what do you think about it? And let me do a quick walk around once again at the back. And we will now finish this in-depth review. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel as there will be plenty of more videos to come and see you on the next one. Bye bye.